Hi there, my name is John Slipic and I'm an Applications Engineer here with Audrake Systems. So today I'm going to be going over some advanced ways that you can utilize the property tabs, uh, the property tab builder within SOLIDWORKS. I guess as a quick primer, the property tabs are a very quick way that you can enter custom property information. I have a basic one set up here, which we're going to change in a second to show you the advanced features of it. And just to show you how this data translates, when I apply this and I go into my custom properties, we can see that not only are these values in here, but it has actually created all of these properties for me. So if these weren't in there, it was going to add them in there. Now, going to our property tab builder interface, what I want to do is throw in a list control, and this is where I'm going to show you how we can tie an Excel sheet to, uh, as a lookup list, more or less, here. So this is going to be a drawn by field. It's going to be my CAD users. Now, to show you the Excel sheet, it's just a list all in one column of all my users, more or less. There's about 40 of them in here. And what you do is you click into the list type here and go to Excel file. And I have to point at that Excel sheet. Now, you need to type in a range here, and it gives you an example of the syntax. And following that, I can say sheet 1. And you can see in my sheet that my, my uh, data starts at A2. And again, I only have about 40 entries, but I don't want to just enter 40. I really recommend that you put a fairly high number for this. You want to make sure that this is going to be valid for when you update the Excel sheet in the future. Now the next control, not number, I want to put in, I want to put in a list. And this is going to be checked by Bye. Now this time we're going to tie this to a text file. Now very similar to the Excel sheet, the text file is just line by line, a whole bunch of different names in here. And very similarly to tie it in, I click in a text file and then I just point at the file. And that's all you need. Now the next thing we're going to go over here is got this vendor information area at the bottom here in this group box and we're going to go over how we can control that the visibility of that with a radio button so this is this radio button it's going to be a part type it's the name of the field and it's two possible values or custom part and purchased part so of course we only want the vendor information to be visible when it's a purchase part. Now I'm entering data for the values so that that value gets written into the custom properties. And where the, the, the magic of this really happens for controlling the visibility is in the, under the advanced options. And what you want to do is click into the area for the option you want to control and you literally just hover above what you want, and then click. So that vendor information should only be visible when you have a purchase part. I'm going to save this. Now to re refresh that, the property tab, SOLIDWORKS, I actually have to close this and relaunch my SOLIDWORKS. So it's reloading that template and I got, what we're going to do is when this loads, I'm going to create a new part. And we can see that our property tab is updated. Now clicking through this, when I click on a purchase part, my vendor information appears. So it's only appearing when it, I, I actually need it, which is really good. And just to test this, put in some random data again. I'm going to click on my drawn by. I can only pick what was in that Excel file. Same thing with the check by. Vendor. 
that some data and when I apply this again all my values are written to the custom properties well, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really found this video useful. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.